you could argue that the civil services controlled by theoretically by politicians of the government of Canada and the provinces are still disobeying the Supreme Court because the Supreme Court in a series of rulings over the last 30 years has made it perfectly clear that none of this stuff is allowable but but the the Indian Affairs which is what it really is in its mind continues to act you know it's it's it looks nicer, it sounds nicer, but fundamentally it has not changed. And fundamentally the Justice Department specialized in Indigenous Affairs has not changed. You're still spending, and I am, $125 million a year in the courts of Canada to pay for the Justice Department of Canada to fight against justice for Indigenous people. That's what's happening. And I've had that conversation with them. They say, oh, we're not initiating cases anymore. Yeah, but they're, they're suing you, and the reason they're suing you is for very good reason, and you're fighting back.